Hello, this is Gary007 and welcome to Avorian. Welcome to my channel. I do cover Avorian a fair bit, but today I thought I'd just sort of take a relaxed approach to this video and just talk about some of the design philosophies when it comes to ship design. I like building in Avorian. I think anybody that plays the game that will agree that at its, its, its strong point is building in the game. So I'll just go over some of the design philosophies behind some of my builds. Some of them you might be able to take away and go, oh, I understand what you're trying to do here and I might be able to implement it myself. <laughs> so without further ado, the ship in front of us is basically like a, like a drone, like out of a Oblivion. I had the concept from Oblivion, I think it was, with Tom Cruise when he's on that alien planet uh, with that other Sheila and they were clones or something. But anyway, the idea was that I'd build a ship uh, purposely to defend my stations because I had a home sector and I needed a defense force of some sort to, to defend against uh, pirates and raiders and Zotan and whatnot that might cross into my my stations. So this this guy was basically designed to do that so as you can see he's um he's quite a basic shape gave him a bit of a mad look <laughs> that drone look but yeah it's pretty it's not bad he, he was designed to it wasn't designed to hyperspace jump anywhere really stay in one sector that's all it was designed to do and that just allowed me to concentrate on putting a lot of maneuverability and, and um, that on him and weapons platform. This guy you might have seen this ship here, you might have seen him in other videos, raiding videos. So this is my raider. This was to jump between my home base and, and basically any raiding opportunities or within that vicinity. Didn't have a long jump cap capability. It didn't design it around hyperspace jump. It had, it had a reasonable uh, ability to do hyperspace jump, but the main purpose of it was to raid. So it had a lot of, it had a lot of cargo space inside. Also see some fighter bays there. I was manufacturing fighters as well at the same time when I was raiding. So, so once my um, fighter bays filled up, I would transfer them into my stations so that they could protect themselves. Just reinforce, you know, uh, the strength of your stations. So when you do get raided, you you've got uh, fighters and you've got, you know, a, a death drone. <laughs> And I had this raider parked up there, so that's what it was designed to do. Um, and, and I think it filled its role quite well. I, I did like it. It was um, it was a fun ship, and I and I still use it from time to time to go raiding. I think they've changed raiding the ability to raid stations now. So that's just recent. So some of my old videos might not apply anymore. I think cargo bays, uh, cargo shuttles might not come to the station if it's under attack. So I'm not sure how ratings affected now in regards to property uh, being uh, profitable. You might need to switch to other activities now. But yeah, so you know, there's there's two uh, vastly di different uh, designs there on these two ships. So you get a bit of an idea of you know, one ship doesn't do it all. Uh, you can build a ship that can do it all, but. Um, you know, and you can't, you don't want to be building, you know, oh, what's that? Station is pushing the ship away. <laughs> ah. So I'm in creative mode, and I've jumped into creative mode so I can park up all my vessels, so I can sort of show them in the video. And I parked it too close to a resource station, so it's just pushing it away. <laughs> uh, I should have picked a better spot. There's literally billion different sectors I could have parked these ships up into. Anyway, this is another little ship design. This ship was specifically made uh, to protect my mining drones. So I had mining drones that had uh, iron ore uh, mining lasers on them. And all they did was mine iron ore all day long. And they needed the protection from pirates. So if you go into little yellow sectors with the yellow blips on the map, um, that's where you'll find uh, some really good op mining opportunities but you'll need something to protect those drones with and so I built a little vessel for that purpose you may see it in one of my other videos but that's what it's designed to do is to protect 
those drones, clear the sector out, and then send my drones in um, after them. It didn't have a great jump capability. I kept it quite small because I needed to keep it within certain within. I couldn't have a large hyper hyperspace jump on it because my drones could only move two or three set, uh, squares at a time. They didn't have any hyperspace jump capability whatsoever. Um, so this is another vessel I've made. It's sort of an, this one is actually an all-purpose one. Uh, early game, early mid game. It was. I was experimenting it really I just no matter you know when you start building something and you're just not happy and you make a lot of changes to it and you're just still not happy and you've been at it for a while and you're like stuff it I just got to go with it <laughs> so that's what this ship is I didn't like it gonna admit I don't like what everything I create uh, but after you spend a long time building something you know you got to fly it eventually anyway we'll move on <laughs> so this ship was uh, I designed it for an exploratory role and a bit of a weapons platform early on in the early on in the game so like I said I set up mining drones but I didn't want to mine so what I did was I let my mining drones do all the work in safe sectors and I'd fly around in that other that other little ship my little um, I don't know, a little corvette ship there and to explore opportunities elsewhere where I could move my miners to later on in the game. So that's what that ship was designed to and, and also check out where other stations are early on in the game and really explore the sector, get into a little bit of combat, not too much because I didn't really have his shields on it but yeah that's the main purpose of it. That was I don't want to mine <laughs> ship. That's my, I want to combat, I want to trade, that's what I want to do. And I'll set my mining up, empire up, I'll be the boss and I'll drive around. <laughs> so yeah, give you th uh, food for thought when it comes to thinking about ship design. This one, completely opposite end of the scale when I felt like it. I felt I want to do mining myself, I want to design a mining vessel. So this has got a lot of cargo space. And as you can see, it's got a few shields, but it's just a small, small little mining ship. But it's got a huge cargo space. It wasn't designed whatsoever to be a combat vessel. I would not, I'll, it was just a scavenger and a mining vessel. And it had my, our mining turrets on it to make the use, a really good use of uh, resources and efficiency. So just a completely different playstyle. I just felt like doing it. Uh, one day and decided, you know what, I want to do some mining and I want my mining vessels to look pretty cool. Uh, in reality, separating cargo bays doesn't give you the best overall cargo storage. However, you know, I like the look of the separated cargo bays on, on, a, on a miner, a mining vessel or a trading vessel of any sort. It just... I don't know, I like, I like the look of it. I could put a big block of cargo bay on there, but, you know, it just would look like a big block. I mean, it looks like a block now, but <laughs> it's got some style to it. Um, so this is a completely different shape. So this is an earlier design as well. This is an exploratory vessel, and the design, when I first played the game, missiles weren't in the game. Missile Firing missiles and all the rest of it, early, early in the game, might have been late 2017 or 18 uh, early 2018 but I, I wanted to play around with missiles at the time and rocket launches and stuff like that so that's what that was I, I, that's what I was doing with it so I would go and explore um, asteroids uh, do some fighting launch missiles or just play around that sort of side of things and I customized a lot of turrets and that on there and it was a good flexible uh, ship for its size uh, this one, yeah, this one was uh, um, turned into a mining vessel. <laughs> you notice a lot of mining vessels I have actually. Now thinking of it, I have a lot of mining different vessels. But this one turned into a, a, a mining vessel uh, eventually. But I was going for a different shape. I was really looking for a big upgrade compared to my other little ships I was driving around um, at the time. And I wanted to go for a completely different look. And I think I achieved it. I guess the best thing is, um, if you're thinking about a design, don't look at my designs, but 
I looked online for different designs, ships that I wanted to, I liked the design of, and I decided, hey, you know, I, I like the design of that, I might try and build that. Now, of course, they don't come out like that, but you get the get the basic shape down, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I like that. So this was a um, all-purpose vessel. It had a de good, decent uh, missile platform on it, and it also had decent, really good cargo space and uh, mining uh, little mining fighters. Didn't have a lot of mining fighters, but it had enough to sort of really get away with what I was trying to do at the time. So yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was a nice little vessel, and it did the job, and, and I did like the look, and I expanded on the missiles and, and um, um, on there, so, yeah, I, I really, um, I did like the light design of that. This one is just a pure weapons platform, and this was basically a hit and run vessel at the time when I made it, so yeah it's basically that's what it is it's, it's just uh, you know a corvette that has firepower and shields to boot so <laughs> move on it's, it's nothing special this one here this was designed as a cargo hauler uh, actually the truth is that I did raiding in my other vessel that we spoke about and I couldn't get rid of I picked up a whole heap of now forgive me when I say this computation mainframes Man, that's a mouthful. Computation mainframe. So I picked up a whole heap of them in my last raid, and I had no where to dump them. All the all all the stations in in the vicinity of my home base didn't have the capacity to take them. Didn't want them. I couldn't sell them. So I built this cargo hauler, and I built it with long jump capabilities and large cargo space. No weapons really, maybe a handful of weapons, if that, but it was designed to jump into long sectors way out of my reach. So that's what it was designed to do. And I eventually found a sector that took my computation mainframes and yeah, made 200 million credits out of that. But that's that was the purpose of this ship. That was all it was designed to do. But you get you get the hint that hey, you know. I might need ships like that in my fleet that, that do long jumps to do trading in, and that's what that ship was designed to do. My Raider wasn't designed to do long hyperspace jumps, but that trading ship there, that uh, cargo vessel, was. So yeah, it's not a, it was not a bad ship. <laughs> anyway, this ship here is my most uh, a well-rounded uh, vessel of them all. It's it's a really overall it's got everything in it that I needed now again this is in creative mode I've had to so I've pulled all my ships together just for this video so it doesn't have all the system upgrades that normally have so the shields would be a lot higher it has all the missiles in it it can store all the mining fighters and I just use this to mine now but this was a good weapons platform that could take anything on really good jump capability it's just your it's just a ship that you probably design yourself, an overall marauder, if you, you know, or a battleship, you know, so the ship of this size, you know, you want to put as much as capability to do everything. So this is what, this is an all-round ship. But I ended up mining <laughs> with it a lot. So I would put it in a sector and mine, and then I'll get out and I'd, I don't know, fluff around with something else, building stations and stuff like that, and when it was finished mining a sector, I'd come and collect it and unload it and rinse and repeat. So I just ended up, it just ended up doing all the dirty work for me in the game. <laughs> but it was, it took me a while to uh, uh, put that ship together. So there, there's differences within all the ships that I've created in the game, and maybe you, you might get a hint or an idea of, uh, you know, going forward if you're new to the game about ship design and, and their roles. Now, I know I know my ships aren't the best in, in, in design, but I do like a lot of the ones that I did build, like except for the couple, uh, the one that I didn't like, but I do like most of them and, I, and what their roles were, and I guess, you know, they're very vastly different compared to one another, and 
that's something that you might want to um, play around with when you're building ships is, is to really think about should I specialize in something when especially when you get further on in the game and you can remotely use your ships to do a variety of tasks but um yeah so this will probably be the last video I'll, I'll do on Avorian for a while so look if you if you if you if you like this video leave a like leave a comment and yeah i hope to see you out on the battlefield in the galaxy and a far far away <laughs> all right see you bye